Justin Dees. He's got in life. We're very sorry. Justin couldn't be with us tonight. He's with his family, and we thank the Academy. And Justin will have to come to my house to get There's a lot of stuff up there. I don't care case. if your family jewels up there. You're not going there. The place is going to come down. What, the whole building? Haven't you been listening to the news? The whole next block is ashes. This is next. Ah. This is our diner. I'm okay. ordering you to get out of here now. Right, okay, just a minute, all right? So I have to spell it out? It's coming here. And there's nothing anybody can do to help. Well, what about the fire department? Our men are doing everything they can. But it's down to saving lives at this point. Not derelict old buildings. Well, then you get out! Hell, you get out! Don't just stand there, Cooper. Evacuate! Get out of here, Janetta! Listen, sir. I'm begging you. You're asking for it if you stay here any longer. You die! This is your last warning. You die! I saw you die! You die! You're dead! Why don't you stay? Yeah, Sergeant Janetta! I can't. Will you come back here, messenger? You're dead. You're dead. I'm losing the trouble. A thousand bucks? And it smelled like cheeseburgers for 20 years? A thousand bucks? That's a buck for every time I went into the basement to fix the leak in that pipe. And it never stayed fixed. A thousand bucks! For waking up at 4 a.m. every morning to open this place up and clean out the creep traps! It is crap, Pop! Never mind the paint jobs! And the menus you had printed up and the... Napkins is it's just a pile of crap. And it's not worth a paper this is printed on. I 
<laughs> so what am I doing trying to save it when it's doing its best to burn down? <sighs> You think you'd learn? Didn't you learn anything? Maybe Janet and the kids are being. It's over. The past is came up on you and it's running past you by a mile. when you had me, was it? The day I was born. Oh, boy. You must have had hopes for me just like you did for this place. And what are we about? I called company, but there was no answer. But listen, they're way out on that uh, boarding house on 7th Street. Thank God they're out of harm's way. We don't have to worry about them at least. Listen, I'll go upstairs and I'll try to get something to make you uh, It's not necessary. Oh, you already got them? Good boy. But I'll bet you forgot your father's autograph collection. He was crazy about that. Anthony Quinn was his prized possession. Let's see, that's in the crawl space next to Nadine's bedroom. And I want to find a, a hose and hook it up. I know we have a hose somewhere. Buzz, we don't have much time. Oh, uh, let it burn. What? What did you say? I said let it burn. I just realized it's a sign, not just to me, to all of us. Hell, it's not a sign, it's a blessing. You are speaking blasphemy. You've lost your mind. The fire has gotten to your head. No, I'm fine. My mind's never been clear. It'll finally be a break from the past, a break all the Coopers have needed. It's like winning lottery. We'll finally get away from the past, get away from the broken promises, get away from the dreams that didn't pan out. I won't stand here and listen to you talking like this. Do what you want to do. I'm going to get some of the things that have meaning to your family. Ah, uh, Stavros, why? Why, why break your back humping pots and pans and autographs for the old man that collected them? He's dead. Yes. Yes, he died in a fire. Very much like this one. As I'm sorry to say it, but I am glad your father, my brother, is dead. I couldn't bear to have him see you the way you are now. How much you pay for this place? How much you pay? A thousand bucks. Proof positive that this place is worth more burned than it is saved. Look at it. It is the American way. That's why they invented insurance. You'll be living on Easy Street with Elaney, with Frank, with Nadine. How'd you just don't get it? Here. 
Lost parakeet in the vicinity of Fifth Street answers to Budgie. If found, please return. What do you want to bet that old Budgie's set up housekeeping in a tree in Roosevelt Park right now with all the other uncalled for, uncollected canaries and parakeets? He has the good sense to know when circumstances get beyond your control, roll with the punches. And he's a parakeet. He understands it. Why can't you? I don't look at me like I'm a monster. You know what? I got an idea. Here. We'll take the pile of stuff we got here, put it with a pile of stuff I got in the alley, and we'll make a bonfire. Here, give me that! God, Buzz, where is your mind right now? Where is the heart you were born with? This is your home. You grew up here. Your children grew up here. If it's gone, where will you go? Where will they go? Where will I go? I told you. We'll build new homes. We'll build nicer homes, newer homes, better homes. Oh, Buzz, even if that were true, where would our memories go? Huh? If Fifth Street burns down, if our family's diner is gone, where would our memories go? Those things that make us who we are. I don't know who this is standing here in front of me. I don't know how you can say the things you say. There are things in life that are more important than price tags. You used to know that. Or did you? Was it all an act? An act that you cared for your family in this place? Were you only saying you loved your son and were sorry you left him alone for so long? Were you showing off with Harley's big wedding? Well, if that was an act, Buzz, it was a good one. I believed you. I gave you credit when people were whispering that you were only pretending. Buzz, Buzz, was I so wrong about you? I don't know. Maybe you were. There's one thing I don't... I do know, though. I didn't start this fire, and the place is doomed. Now, we can stay here like a couple of fools and battle the inevitable, probably losing our lives in the process, or we can accept things the way they are. I don't think my old man would want you to burn down with this place, so why don't you get out with me? Come on. No. Uh, come on. Don't be no. an old son. I am going to do something alone if I have to to save this place my brother built. I will wet down the walls. So with it, what? It with what? Where are you going to get the water? There's not going to be any water pressure. Even if you turn on the high. There is water in the old water tower on top of the building. We can wet it down from there. That tank up there. We haven't been up there in years. There's no water in that tank. You want to die for your memories? You don't need it. We don't deserve this. We are paying for yourself. My memories are important to me. I am not ashamed of my past. Why are you all of a sudden? What happened to my brother's son? <laughs> Take this at least. Maybe this is still one memory that has meaning for you. Maybe this will remind you who you used to be. You were a hero once, Buzz. Remember that. Because now, I am ashamed of you. You are a disgrace to me, your father, your family. I'm not just losing a diner today, boss. I'm losing my respect for you. Some hero you are.
Why did you shoot at us? Why'd you have to go crazy, kid? We didn't know you were one of us. I swear to God. Look, don't wait. Do you know that every night of my life, I have dreamt you. There hasn't been one single night that I haven't seen that face, those wild, crazy eyes staring at me. I swear it, kid. You would have killed me and my men if I hadn't shot you. You know I got a medal for killing you? Didn't want anybody to know what happened. Kid, I told your wife, your widow, what happened. That you died with honor. That's gotta be worth something. That's gotta be worth something. Don't! No! No! no look, I'll leave, I swear. I didn't know it was your stuff. I didn't know anyone was still here. Look, there's nothing there anyway. It's all a bunch of worthless junk, you crazy old man. Hey! See, even the kid knew his job. I was leaving. Dear Dad, I miss you. When are you coming home from the Army? I know a lot of people say what you're doing is important, but I miss you. What are you doing over here, Dad? Just looking for some things. That was the letter I wrote to you when you were away in Vietnam. I thought you were coming back, but you didn't. Why did you keep it? it makes me feel like I'm worth something. Then why are you going to let it burn? take me to see Phoenix. I thought you were going to take me to see the city of Arizona, and it turned out you were just talking about that, that rock sculpture of a big fiery bird rising from some ashes. Well, I just wanted you to know I'm not mad at you anymore. Ah, the buzz, hurry up. I have the picture. I can't keep her still much longer. Of course not. She's a real pistol with a mind of her own. She's like her grandpa. No, she's not. She's better than I am. She's better than I am. Well, you know, she could do a lot worse than take after my old man. I'm proud of you, Dad. I'm proud of you. What is it you want me to say? Want me to say I'm sorry? Hell yes, I'm sorry. What else do you want me to do? Oh, I get it. This is my judgment. For blowing all the chances you gave me. 
for not staying. For holding on when I should have let go, well, I tell you. It's my own little apocalypse. The flames are a nice touch. But you gotta give me this. I try. I never back down. I never gave up. Never once. things I gotta live with. But I left. Maybe I wasn't good enough. So I wasn't good enough. But you know, one time, just once in my life, I would have liked to know what it was like to be a winner. I would have taken the risk. I would have stood up there with nothing but a hose between me and the firestorm. I would have gone to hell and back to make things right. Frank, listen to me. I mean, if all it took was a little water, a big heart, and lots of desire, God, I could have been a hero. There's a heart and desire that I got. Where is the stuff? What's that all the fires in my life? All the answers to the questions rattle around in my brain and drive me crazy. Where's that big answer? Where's that big answer that wipes the slate clean and changes everything? God, it's up there. It's up there on the roof.
the original King of Fifth Street is finally back. Even you deserve one, Cooper. The Frank Achilles Cooper. He tried his best. But it was never enough. Hey, God. Hey, you, God. Can we talk? Father's diner on Fifth Street. Look, I know I've never been much of a believer in answered prayers. I mean, to me, prayers are like dreams. And I spin dreams like a spider spins webs. And they just never seem to come true. I mean, that's just... That's been my life. So... Forgive me. I know I got a lot of nerve, but I'm gonna ask for a miracle right now. Because I need a miracle, not for me, but for my family. I mean, I got great kids. They deserve a miracle every day. And Dini, God, she deserves... She deserves a moon and the stars. And every grace you can bestow on a woman. I mean, don't you think you owe my kids my family one? Just for putting up with me all these years? And I'll change. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think I can turn into Mother Teresa or even Pat Boone overnight. But I'll stop running. And I'll be the best damn father there ever was. And the best damn ex-husband of Deanie. And the best damn soda jerk, if that's what you want me to be. I didn't mean to kill the kid. 